Hey there, boys, girls, and Fred. How are you all doing? We're back, and we're finally going to go inside. The long wait is over. We are going inside whatever this strange tunnel thing is. So all the answers to the mystery, to the mysteries, will be solved. Nomad, losing your video feed. You hear me? Nomad! Vulture, you're breaking up. Do you read me, over? Vulture, do you copy? I'm trying to boost my video signal. I hope you guys are getting it. Maximum speed. I'll try to describe what I'm seeing. I'm in some kind of tunnel. A cave. Like crystallized rock, but more structure. I've never seen anything like this. It's dark. Cold. Incredibly cold. The walls are irregular, like the outer shell. It looks almost organic. I hope you guys can see this. Movement. Shit. It's the same thing that got profit. No, no, Matt. It's bad commentary to uh, describe what you're seeing on the screen. You're really bad at Let's Plays. I just want to mention that. Jeez, no, Matt. I just lost gravity. I'm using thrusters to stabilize myself. This will take some getting used to. So, that is something that, th that is apparently a thing, is losing gravity, and apparently the nano suit is equipped to deal with that. Um, yeah, I, I gotta say, the game kind of takes a turn for the worse. Um, also, I, I tend to get lost in this area a lot. Like, wait, like, how is he even, like, I want to see that shadow. <laughs> I don't know why it looks funny. Neuro. Yeah, this is I don't know, this is this is really dumb. Damn, what the hell was that? They they're trying to make this game into something spooky. I don't I don't really know. It's like there's a current pushing me back. I'm going to keep moving against the flow. That's kind of the indicator of which way you're supposed to go. Sometimes it helps. Uh, <laughs> I'm just groaning. Why? On, on the plus side, it looks kind of nice, although I think it's kind of ruined by the, uh, the fogginess. I mean, it's it can be really pretty, but you can tell some of these areas are kind of just here just to showcase what the engine is capable of. That's what the entire game was kind of designed around. Uh, I think that's supposed to be scary. Something just hit me. Took him a while to hit me. <laughs> Damn it. The current just got stronger. It must be generated by these machines. I'll see if I can knock out the power. It seems to be working. Yeah, I don't know how they can really make that spooky. That guy was, like, running around for, like, a good hour and a half. I guess they didn't expect me to be using strength mode. Alright. Oh shit, it's spooky. Ow. <laughs> Alright. Come here. Come here. Get over here. <laughs> I can just hold on to him. <laughs> Whatever that was, it's dead now. Whatever that was, it's dead now. What? Why'd you be yourself? Anyways, um, I'm gonna punch all these alien motherfuckers because that that that's that's ten times more fun than playing this legit. So, 
this is more of a scenic level. I'm just gonna warn you guys now. Uh, it's gonna be a whole lot of just, you know, me. I'm not gonna keep myself getting lost in, but it, it, it can be pretty, um, you know, but it, it kind of detracts from the whole, um, here, let me put this on the, uh, I put it on the mode with the, uh, Alright, I put on the mode with it where I get more accuracy. Just do this. Damn it. Get over here. I'm coming after you. This is like the like how did we turn this into an FPS? Oh uh, fine. Cause I could just dodge them. Okay. <laughs> Mini gun them. <laughs> you know, I don't think they quite intended for you to have this weapon at this point. Dude, I can dodge so well. Oh great. Now I don't have any more weapon more ammo for this. Uh oh. They're shooting at me. Get over here. Why can't I? I want to punch him. I want to punch this thing. Hell yeah. That was so badass. <laughs> you know, this can't be fun. This part. Okay, I think I'm, I'm, I'm intending to get out of here, so. Yeah, it keeps- I think it keeps infinitely spawning them. Oh, well. You, I mean, you have the cloak and everything, but these are all, like, melee monsters, so, like, it doesn't even freaking matter. And there's very little indication on if you're going the right way. Um, I'm not sure if there were some subtle hints they added. I- I have not ever seen this, so... I don't know. It always confuses me. I won't even lie. Although I do have a lot of fun punching the little alien guys. Yeah. The thing is, I, I, I don't even know if I'm going the right way right now. I assume I am. Fuck. I assume I am simply because I hadn't gone through that before. That's the, that's the only clue I have. Uh, and, and basic memory, which is like not my thing really. We get more pretty places. Looks like they've been gathering objects from outside. I don't know if that radio is actually playing anything in particular. Uh, I just gotta, I gotta basically just find a bunch of things, and uh, I don't know. Look, there's a TV. Fuck off. And it doesn't even go to get thrown anywhere. Hey, wait. Is this, uh... Have ammo? No, this is my old one. Well, I might as well carry this run, even though I hate machine guns. Yeah. It's quite unfortunate that there's nothing else here. And I just took damage from something. Apparently there's nothing. cable running through the entire cavern. It looks biological, but it seems to be coursing with electrical current. I, I hate his commentary. I just want to mention now. I don't really, like... He, he s says a lot of, let's say, obvious things. I don't even know. It's... it's. <laughs> oh, there's a cable going through here with electrical current. Oh, damn. Good thing you figured that out, my man. Alright. Uh... I'm assuming I haven't gone this way. Okay, apparently the Rambo technique doesn't really work too well. Wait. Oh dear god, I can't see a thing. Flashlight on and burning ammo on. 
So we can see a uh, cool little, like a little manufacturing plant thing here. Am, am I doing Nomad's commentary? There's an alien that's trying to eat my face off. Who are these machines? They're different than the others. What the hell is going on here? It's just, it's very over dramatic. Cool, it actually floats around. So, the engine is kind of neat in the fact that it can make things have zero, uh. I think no. These gateways are on a timer, like a sequence. Maybe I can slip through if I time it. Oh, I got rid of my shotgun. <laughs> I don't want to waste that. No, I'm just gonna let him come to me. You wanna come to me? Well, I gotta wait for these these things to these uh, timers to go through, as he said. It's like a timer, and I can slip through. So I don't know. The game practically gives it away to you. But they're they're on like a on opposite schedules, so it's it's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, all I can do is run into it. It's like a solid... It appears to be a solid wall to me right now. I think the idea is I'm supposed to be fighting these guys, but I honestly, I don't really care. Whoa. Huge schlong. Okay. There we go. Run to the other side. Hey, I made it. There we go. Okay, we're done with this place. So this is the best part of this entire section. Warp speed. It's a pretty awesome visual effect, I have to say, though. Very disorienting. Shit. Where the hell am I? Now this is maximum speed. I'd say this is like Crisis 2, but it's not like Crisis 2 in the slightest. That was a hell of a ride. Well, we're already out of that one. Now we basically just have to go and uh, figure out where the fuck to go next. Oh, okay, there are some more ammunition little stations here, so I can go and... Uh, find something that I want. I want some minigun bullets, so that sounds good. I would actually like to trade uh, for another shotgun. I just don't know where I would find it. There was another one over here, though. And I unfortunately don't get a lot of pistol ammo. The floatingness is, 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 it's, you know what? Um, I have to say, no matter what you think about what, what, what this part, like, if it's good or not. I'm not going to spoil too much of uh, the rest of the game, but uh, no matter what you think of it, it's it's a still it's a still pretty cool feat in technology, but this is probably the reason why people didn't really like this game Looks too like much. Of the caverns. By the looks of it, the cave system is huge. Power conduit seems to run through the entire structure. I would prefer this gun. Uh, we will take... Ooh, the, the assault scope on it. Damn. I don't really need that, though. Alright. Shotgun. Yeah, that's why I have to, like, I basically have to pick up all the weapons, because, you know, it may actually give me an assault scope, and I may just not know it. This may have a laser sight for all I know. I uh, see, it has a laser sight. And there's probably another one earlier that I totally didn't catch the sight of. Didn't get on the train with. But now I get la laser pointers on everything. Except for pistols, because fuck pistols. Alright. 
Well, oh, let's say, let's go have a look over here. What's going on? That that seems pretty. That seems like graphics. So, uh, it's an invasion force. Yeah, I know, I'm repeating what he said. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Fuck, fuck what Nomad says. Alright, well, um... I, I don't think I can make it to there. I like, I like this accuracy setting. So, the you can see how the little pointer things are going in the other direction, so I can't really go that way. That's its way of signaling to you that you need to find another path. So I'm just, I'm just trying to find my way around. I think it came from like over here or something. Yeah, that looks like the correct path. Uh oh, that's why I like this weapon. You can you can kind of see how one could get lost in here. What the hell is this thing? Wow, they, they need to friggin clean up here. Damn. It's the most unorganized aliens I've ever seen. But like it's it's I don't know. It's a, it's a slow and disorienting place. So oh, Here we go. And the lights are off. to get everyone off this island. These things are waking up. I I really like this the shotgun. It's like the anti the anti-alien gun. Look at that, just one shot. Opposed to me spamming that stupid ass uh weapon the entire time. It's the best. I was actually gonna see if that shooting actually did anything. Now here's one of the fundamental problems of this area for me. Um, I don't really know where I'm going here. I won't lie. I kind of, uh, this is like, I don't, I, I've always had problems with this room. Because I always think it's some obscure place. Uh, but I'll try a little more and I'll see. So I'm actually wondering, like, what key, what key they gave you here. Because as far as I know, it's just enemies keep respawning. So, uh, the thing that might actually be the case is that you're not actually supposed to go anywhere until you finish killing them all. It's like maybe like a combat place, but there's also like a bunch of places like here. I kind of like this laser pointer. No, no, I always end up like going around and I'm like, well, there's nothing over here. Derp, derp, derp. So, I don't know. We'll we'll we'll, we'll hang around with the aliens because it seems to be spawning more and more of them. And also, they're pretty fun to kill. I have to say, and it's also spotting more of them, so that should be indication. Hey, what's up here? Uh, those are outbound. Uh, those are inbound. Uh, platform things. I also like the speed because it's like you can you can evade you can negate all the damage, or most of it, anyways. And they can't kill you in one hit, anyway, so it's not like I'm gonna have armor on. Guess what? I was right. It was a combat area. That's why I never know where to go. I have to kill everything. Well, that explains that. Signal strong and clear. Looks like you're back online. Transmitting your 
Sock now. I can see daylight. We're closing in on your signal. Looks like an exit point, but I can't get too close. Approaching visual range. There he is. Now, man, we see you. Look out! I wish I could give you one, Major, but I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Whatever it is, I'm right in the eye of a storm. The whole mountain's encased in some kind of energy sphere. It's a miracle you're still alive. We're pulling everybody off the island. Roger that. I lost contact with a squad of Marines close to your position. I'm transmitting their last coordinates. Recon the area. Will do. But I doubt if anyone can survive this cold. We've set up an evac center at the foot of the valley. If you find anyone alive, I'm here for extraction. Well, uh, that was a full 20 minutes inside that little alien ship, so uh, uh, <laughs> I, I guess I'll see you next time to explore some of these great um, Canadian wilderness. This is more like Canada.